This is still the Polity, and we're reaching you live from the Abuja studios of Kaftan TV. Right about now, I've been joined by the national youth leader of the Labour Party, and with him, we're going to be analysing the internal wranglings within the party. You're welcome to the program, Anselm Eragwe. Uh, thank you very much, uh, fellow Nigerians. Eragwe Anselm, mm. the national youth leader of the Labour Party. My pleasure to be here. Thank you very much uh, for your um, time coming uh, to the program today. And um, of course, we are going to be, you know, analyzing uh, so many issues cutting across um, the Labour uh, Party. But in recent times, the uh, you know the uh, issues have taken a new turn, and um, it has uh, it has you know graduated from just being. Uh, an internal crisis within the Labour Party, but now we, it's now it has uh, graduated into you know uh, the, the a fight for the real ownership of the party. I'm talking about between the Nigerian Labour Congress and the Labour Labour Party, uh, coming from uh, an authority in the party and in the uh, scheme of things. Uh, I want let's I want us to start from you know knowing the true situation of things within the party at the moment. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, as it affects the Labour Party in Nigeria, I want to quickly put on record that there are national working committee members of the Labour Party elected on the 10th of June 2019 in Akwanga, Nasarawa State Convention of the party. Mm. I bother to share with you that list. Uh, that was an INEC acknowledged list mm. of the results of the Akwanga National Convention. Mm. And you agree with me that the convention is the climax of political party activities, having built up from the base, mm. which means you should have had what congresses, local government congresses, state congresses to elect all the executive at those level. It is those executive at those level that will come to the National Convention to elect members of the National Working Committee. Mm. Because the climax of political party activities culminates with the election of the NWC. Mm. So from the previous NWC to the next NWC, in between them, the National Working Committee elected from that convention administer the political party. Mm. But you were found recently, just you saw a list that Abure put out to say a convention is being called for 27th of, uh, March, of March 2024. If you run through that list, you find out that it's a whole lot of illegality. You see, some of us have, have agitated severally on the extent to which uh, Aburi had indulged in both criminality and illegality. Mm. Now, on that list, you would have found so many anomalies. First, the person there today asked, say, the national legal advisor, is somebody a doom that is unknown to the laws mm. and the process of Liberal Party? Mm. Somebody... Kennedy Hanotu standing in place of Iraq behind them as the national youth leader of the Labour Party, and so many others. Mm. The question would be where did Abure get the list of the persons he's parading? Mm. So I'm telling the world to say there are people elected in the national convention that are valid NWC members. Iraq behind them, national youth leader. Like I said, Abure does not have any power to suspend anybody. Okay, now, so you say, uh, according to you, there are people who were validly you know, elected, elected from the National, from, from convention. The national Convention. When did this <laughs> National Convention hold? The, national con the last National Convention of the party took place on the 10th of June 2019. On the 10th of June 2019. 2019 in and Akwanga, Nasarawa State. In Akwanga, Nasarawa State. Monitored by INEC. Monitored by INEC. Okay, very and there's not been another convention to date. Very well. Now... That uh, going by that um, same uh, convention, I'm trying. I'm just trying to take you uh, by a word here now, uh, because you have accused um, uh, Julius Abarista, Julius Abure of so many illegalities and uh, criminalities. Uh, now, the last convention of the Labour Party was held. Um, okay, it was held on was held in 2019. 2019. 2019. And, and then, yes, and there's and there's a there's a paper here from the Labour Party issued on 24th of June. 2019. That paper, uh, that paper described Jubaista Julius Abure as the national secretary. secretary of the party. Fast forward to uh, fast forward to a uh, few months before the 2023 uh, presidential elections. Barista Julius Abure was 
seen, generally seen, as the national chairman of the party until this very moment. Till this very moment, uh, he is still widely regarded as the national chairman of the party. Now, at what point did it all go wrong that it became, you know, necessary to, you know, call to call a spade a spade and say Barrister Abuye was never duly elected as the national chairman of the party and as the national secretary, how was it possible that Barrister Julius Abuye was able to find his way to being uh, seen as the national chairman of the party? Well, thank you very much, uh, Kaftan TV. Uh, mm -hmm. I was here sometimes in 2023. 2023. Uh, I alluded Correct. to the fact that a lot of conspiracies took place uh, as to how Abure illegally emerged as the acting national chairman. Uh, but the first thing we need to know is mm -hmm. the laws, the constitution of the Labour Party does not provide for the ascension for the national secretary mm. to become acting national chairman or substantive chairman. Okay, uh, uh, comrade Anselm, yes. we need to go on a short break now. We'll come back. Uh, you land on your submission. We'll go on a short break now. We'll come back. The program continues. Say hello, be safe. I'm the black comedian of the Federal Republic. I tell you, when it comes to the best of entertainment, the best of news, the best of information, something that is educating, you're right here at the best place to see that. It's Captain TV. Do you know what? Increase the volume, keep watching, don't touch the dial, okay? Uh -huh. It's your girl in Kitchi Blessing Sunday. I want you all to keep watching Captain. This is still the polity and we're reaching you live from the abuja studios of kaftan tv before we went on that uh, very short break you were uh, analyzing the you know uh, the how and the legality of how uh, barrister julius abri was able to navigate his way to becoming the national chairman of yeah. the party uh, thank you very much like i said <coughs> first and foremost uh, we need to understand that the constitution the ground norm for the party is the constitution mm. so whatsoever and howsoever anything or everything is done against the constitution makes it illegal mm. so that established now the concern of the labor party does not provide for ascension for the national secretary mm. to the office of the national chairman okay. either in acting or substantive capacities so it then means since abure was elected from the 10th june 2019 national convention in akwanga the law however did not provide that abure under any circumstances could ever become acting on national chairman is that clear mm. so now that that is established it then means however abure ascended the office of the acting national chairman or substantive it's illegal mm. but abure did this by way of uh, a lot of manipulation intimidation uh toggery, uh, terrorism uh, i'm telling you all of this because uh, it is recently proven now when i add the word terrorism to mm. abure's criminality and its illegality mm. now of course on that day abayomi arabambi had to move a motion a sole motion for uh nominating abure mm. national secretary for the chairman's position maria lebeke was the acting national chairman okay if you look at the document INEC acknowledge, INEC monitor the election, mm. you find out that there were two deputy national chairmen elected from the national convention. Mm. The first deputy chairman not is Mrs. Maria Lebeke. 
The second deputy national chairman South elected is Alaji Lamidi Bashir Apapa. We can so, see it from the document. So these are the two validly elected Labour Party deputy national chairmen for Labour Party subsisting hmm. from 10th June 2019 to date until the next national convention of the party. Hmm. You would have seen again from Abure's illegal list being paraded to the world that Maria Lebeke is not on that list. Alaji Lamid Bashur Abapa is not on that I'm list. Iraqbe Aslam is not on that not list. On that list. Uh, Akin Bade, uh, the, the National League is not on that list. Mm. And so many others. Mm. So out of 20 of us elected from the National Convention, about 15 of us who were validly elected, who are the substantive officers of the NWC of Labour Party to the next National Convention, are not on that list. Okay, now, if, if the Independent National Electoral Commission if they monitored the 2019 convention, yes. the 2019 uh, convention, it means they recognize uh, 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 Barrister Julius Abue as the national secretary, sure. national secretary of the party. How, what, at what point did things change and, you know, the INEC, you know, began to recognize Barrister Julius Aburi as the national chairman of the party because prior to the 2023 elections, yeah. prior to the 2023 elections, it was Barrister Julius Aburi that was, you know, recognized by the Independent National Electoral Commission okay. as the national chairman of of the party. At what point did it all go south? Now, is it because if 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 everything had been, if everything, if prior to the 2023 elections, when the Labour Party obviously stood a chance due to the popularity of uh, Mr. Mr. Peter Obi, if everything was swept under the carpet, carpet why are these issues popping up at this now, moment? See, let, let me make um, a quick correction here. Mm. There have been issues in the Labour Party, nothing had been swept under the carpet. Mm. But I must quickly add that there are collaborators with Abure in INEC. Yeah? And I challenge INEC on this broadcast do, yeah. If you say they are colla yeah, collaborators yeah. with, uh, with Abure, Abure in INEC, do you have an idea uh, of... Now, I'm coming to okay. that. Okay. You see, this is a global broadcast. Okay. Uh, and I want to be put on record because okay. I'm the one speaking for myself here. Okay. Because INEC as the umpire of the political parties is bound by the laws both of the party and their own provisions as mm. INEC to ensure that the rule of law is obeyed and obeyed. maintained hmm. i said i've just said here that some persons in INEC are collaborators with aburi on all of these illegal fronts hmm. and i'll give instances now first and foremost INEC is aware that the labor party constitution does not provide for the ascension of a national secretary as national chairman that, well, is, one. that is one two maria lebeke who was the acting national chairman cried aloud wrote even to INEC to say I have been shortchanged because as the one of the two elected deputy national chairman who became the acting national chairman on the 30th of December 2020 when our former national chairman died Mr. Mm -hmm. Rest in Peace A Salam A Salam mm -hmm. passed on on the 29th of December 2020 on the 30th we had an emergency national working committee meeting where Maria Lebeke being the deputy national chairman not because the late chairman was from the north so naturally it was the the right of the deputy national deputy chairman national not, not to have ascended as the acting national chairman and that was done hmm. so Mara lebeke was nominated and seconded and we voted for her however other part was nominated but because we needed to do things appropriately appropriately the overwhelming vote was in favor of maria lebeke, lebeke who became acting national and this is the provision of law mm. what happened to maria lebeke subsequently happened to alaji lamidi bashur apapa on the 6th of april when aburi was restrained mm. on the 5th of april 2023 over these criminal issues coming back to maria lebeke so maria lebeke became the authentic and substantive acting national chairman from december 30 2020 to 29th of march 2021 Mm. Now, we had a National Executive Council meeting in Benin. 
Now, the essence of the National Executive Council meeting, amongst other things, was to ratify the acting national chairman as national chairman. When was this uh, National Executive Council? Uh, when, was, uh, when did it happen? That was, it was held on the 29th of March, 2021, okay. in Benin. In Benin. So the terms of reference of that, one of the terms of reference of that meeting was ratification of the acting national chairman as the national chairman. Hmm. Mind you, like I said, the, the, there are two deputy national chairmen. Hmm. So we from had the, the, north and from the south. Good. So we had the option of ratifying Maria Libiki as the acting national, as the chairman that day, or Alaji Lamidi Bashur Apapa as the national chairman of Labour Party that day. Hmm. Not Julius Aburi, hmm. who was the national secretary. So how did Julius now, Aburi we got to Benin. We picture. got to Benin. So I just talked about Togri. Mm -hmm. I talked about terrorism. I talked about all manner of manipulation. Mm -hmm. Unknown to some of us, however, Julius Aburi had manipulated through some of his contact in INEC, mm -hmm. through some of the, 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 the documents they made submission to INEC between himself and Maria. Maria Lebeke only found out so many of these inconsistencies that she had signed document contrary to mm -hmm. uh, what the issues were as acting chairman. But that is not the issue here. We got to Benin. Abura's conspiracy was to the point where a motion was moved because the motion that will have been moved will have been a motion for the adoption of Maria Lebeke acting tenor as substantive or probably Alaji Lamidi Bashir Apapa for substantive or thirdly or train the two of them up for a contest for a, contest. For a vote. In the neck meeting because of course the neck has the authority hmm. it is the neck because in between convention it is the neck that has the higher let me say the higher the highest the power high, the highest, highest power of the hmm. three uh, 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 organs now hmm. the nwc the neck and the national convention hmm. so we are in a proper function to do the right thing but the wrong thing was done hmm. in neck what we found out was Araba and B. Abure had conspired made a lot of conspiracies like i said Araba and B. Abayomi now moved the motion Instead of nominating a papa or Maria Lebeke to be voted for substantively as the national chairman, he nominated Abure, hmm. national secretary of the party, prompting him as national chairman. The next thing, it was a pre-arranged thing, the next thing was a second. Hmm. No dissenting voices, hands were up to object to that nomination. The next thing we saw was unopposed, unopposed. Oh, you know what? But mm. some of us insisted that an anomaly was taking place here. Mm. That's why I said we were part of the process. Okay. But this process was with wind. I mean, uh, there are living witnesses. Okay. But however this happened, like we have said, however it happened, it's all constitutional, it is illegal. Mm. Abure cannot become the national chairman as the substantive national okay. What's okay. the position so, of law? So now, at, at that point now, what was um, for those who, you know, objected the... Uh, said illegality that yes. ha that had happened. What was your immediate response to the to what, what oh, had oh, happened? Immedi uh, the, uh, immediate the immediate yeah. response. Immediately when we returned, uh, Maria Lebeke, mind you, like I said, she being the acting national chairman, and because an illegality had just taken place, mm. so this faction we are seeing Labour Party today began from that day. Mm. 29th of March 2023. Mm. Mara Lebeke on she immediately wrote to the INEC challenging the process, which is the proper thing to do. Drawing INEC's attention to the fact that there's a constitutional breach here, an illegality has been perpetrated against the constitution. Mm -hmm. Not just that she was supplanted by Aburi, but that the constitutional provision had been breached and calling for amendment of those issues. She called on INEC by writing, she has this. She has it written to INEC. So this was done. Now, but arising from there, something happened. Um, a lot of conspiracy, the conspiracy continued. Mm. It has been bettered, it continued. Mara Lebeke eventually got a suspension through Aburi's machination for two years, mm. illegally. 
So, uh, Maria Libeke was um, yeah, illegally so placed on yes, suspension for, for two, two years. years. Okay, just, just, just to further Aburi's entrenchment mm, of that chairman. Ju just, just a minute. Viewers at home, our phone lines are now open. You can now call in to make your contributions and also ask your questions. You have 60 seconds to do so. And um, just because of our time, and um, we still have so many issues uh, to discuss before we round up on the show uh, today. Uh, sometimes last year, a, uh, a video footage uh, surfaced on the internet where you were uh, attacked by uh, uh, some hoodlums in uh, a those states. What led to that very, very incident? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I think this is about the first, this is the second time I'm having the privilege to address uh, a world, uh, an international television station. Mm. The first one was Ninja Life. I said, I wasn't attacked by hoodlums. Mm. I was set up to be killed, to be assassinated by Julius Aburi. Mm, what, do, do you have um, yes, any... Yes, excuse me. Okay. You see, Abure, Obaloy, Abure's faction of the Labour Party in Edo State were the ones that came to kill me. Mm. They were sent by Abure to assassinate me in my own state. I went to Edo State on the 28th of December to conduct... INEC, mind you, INEC had ruled out political parties' schedule of activities for rerun and by elections mm. for... for uh, January 2024 and also the Edo State and Undo State gubernatorial elections Election. primary activities. Remember, Labour Party became factionized because Abure was restrained by the FCT High Court on the 5th of April 2023. But, but he, he, he never complied he with never the, did. the now, restraint order. You see, the criminality I talked about continued from on the 29th. Abure's criminality, Abure's illegality started on the 29th of March 2021 up to today. What's today's date? 25th, 25th of, of March, March 2024. 2024. Activities leading to the Labour Party 2023 general elections were such that Abure forged validly nominated candidates on the INEC portal signature. He, he withdraw letter signatures and remove them from the INEC portal. Okoeze Splendor, for instance, did a petition through his SAN, the, the inquiry uh, the yeah, they, from, they inquire from the INEC mm. what was uploaded. They got all those details only to find out that withdrawal letters were written and forged signatures to substitute this candidate on the INEC portal, Baaburi and mm. Umar Farouk. Mm. Now, the SAN, J.L. Seloka, wrote to Inspector General of Police through the First Criminal Investigation Department, annexing all of these investigations were done with forensic audit that show that the, F the FCT I court affidavit, the, the seal, the TSA payment, all of the details from the court Abure mm -hmm. uploaded on the INEC portal were forged. We're forged. Okay. And that amounted to perjury. If it's, you have just seen the Inspector General of Police Authorization to the Honorable Attorney General of the Federation for the prosecution of Julius Abure, Umar Farouk Ibrahim, and Ujuku Clement. Mm. over these issues. Mm. Now, it was upon this issue that the FCT High Court, because FCT High Court is the court whose affidavit, C stamp, TSA, were forged. Were forged. Mm. So it is this same court that restrained Julius Aburi and the rest from parading themselves pending the determination of this matter based on the Nigeria Police Force Criminal Investigation Department investigation forensic. A prima facie case was established that indicted Aburi and the rest for forgery, perjury, and criminal conspiracy. Mm. The criminal conspiracy had to do with how they transferred monies from the beneficiary of this crime. Over 400 million hmm. monies meant to have gone to the past account, went through some other amongst them for sharing and the rest of them. This same person wrote a petition before the police to say he had transferred monies in batches of 50, 15 million. Hmm. Investigations were done and they found out this was so. Hmm. So this established the aspect of the criminal conspiracy. Okay. So in a summary, the point I'm making here is Abure. I'm not saying anything new as of today because you have the report of the Inspector General of Police authorization to the Attorney General of Federation and Minister of Justice to say prosecute Abure. Mm. We had to write recently, only recently, petitioning the Attorney General of Federation to implement the recommendation of the Inspector General of, of Police. Inspector General of Police. Who had concluded the investigation for ethics order and order that Abure. Umar Farouk, Ojuku Clement, and the beneficiary of that crime be prosecuted. Hmm. So, Abure, as we are talking now, 
has all of this over his head. Abura should be honorable. He's not an honorable man. Mm. But it should be made to... That is why NSC came in suddenly. Because NSC, with the weight of the indictment against Abure, said, no, Abure, first and foremost, your tenor no longer subsists. First, you ascended this throne through criminality. It's established that you cannot be chairman. Hmm. So how did you become chairman? You see, when people like us started talking earlier, when this crisis started, Iraqi Anselm said, these are the issues. But nobody listened to me. Hmm. But today, the world needs to listen whether or not because this, the, the facts are before the public domain. So, NLC has come out very soon. I remember the same NLC. I'm a member of the NLC. Hmm. I am the National Organizing Secretary of the Academic Staff Union of Research Institutions in Nigeria. Okay. So, the point I made with us to say, other than being the unity of labor, I'm a member of the NLC y yes. as a major stakeholder on this matter. But NLC, remember, came April... April is it 18 or thereabout or 15 came to the second. Remember when mm. FCTI court restrained Abure, we are taking over the national secretariat. Mm. But of course, Abure through his policy lies went to the NSC. Whatever he told them, they came and took over, calling us rodents. Mm. But However, then, but then uh, what, first of all, uh, I still want to I still want to dwell on you know the attack in Benin, where, yes, yeah. where, you, where you have, where, yeah, you, you, where you just said yeah, thank you. that um, it was, um, uh, but where you just um, alleged that uh, uh, Bryce so Let Abu me come back to that, said. thank you. So, now, what and what, what, what was that. the sequence of event that led to that um, attack. Uh, very attack? Because seeing, the, uh, pick, see, sites from that very attack looked very, very uh, gory. Yeah. Well, thank you. Sorry for the division. Mm. I began to say that INEC now, let me say this. Alaji Lamid Bashira Papa became the acting national chairman legally and constitutionally of the Labour Party on the 6th of April 2023. Mm. When the NWC, remember, I was on illegal suspension. Mm. I took it in good faith just for peace to reign so that Peter Obi will not see me to be the one who was disturbing hmm. his campaign. Who sabotaged his yeah, campaign? So I, I took that. It's, that was a personal sacrifice I made as a rugby Anselm because under the heavens, there is nothing under the heavens that will make me a rugby Anselm accept that illegality. Hmm. But like I said, I took it in good faith because if I continued in my character, it will amount to the fact that I was the one that was going to truncate Obi's election. Hmm. So. God in every side, that was the singular reason I swallowed it. I went to for six months. And that's why after six months, if you observe, on the 6th of April, which was six months, mm. that they purported they gave me for my illegal suspension, on the 6th of April, the NWC met, appointed a papa, restated me. Okay. Even though, like I said, my suspension was seen now, that. The, the NWC led by who? Now, NWC, mind you, upper NWC, that's the provision of law. Yes, the NWC led by who? As of that time? The, uh, who, who, who led the N NWC that reinstated you after the six oh, months? Oh, no, uh, no, this side works. This side works. Mm. Uh, when the NWC meeting was called, Abure was to be there. Everybody mm. was to be there, apart from me and Arabambi, who were on illegal suspension. Mm. So in the meeting called, those who were there, I think about 13 were there. Mm. So the resolution of that NWC, it's an NWC what, what I'm saying now, among the 13 people that were there, who was the highest ranking oh, member? The highest ranking member was Alaji Lamid Bashir Apapa. Okay. He was the highest ranking. Okay. Remember, I said earlier, Maria Libeke was on illegal suspension for two and, years. And you two were... Well, I was now on, two on yeah, illegal yeah, suspension for, for six months. For six months. Okay. Which was now expiring at yeah. the same hour. Arabambi too was on illegal suspension. So three of us were already out on illegal suspension. So the rest met. Mm. So, so I, I wanted to... And Abure couldn't... Oh, sorry, Abure could not attend because Abure had been restrained mm. the previous day by the FCTI court. Remember, Abure yeah. Umar Farouk Ojuku Clement couldn't attend this NWC meeting because the court had restrained them. Hmm. Stop parading yourself. So the rest attended the meeting. Okay. Outside Abure and the two others, outside me, Arabambi and Maria. Okay. So out of 20, I think about 14, uh, two had passed on. So the remaining attended. Okay. So it was a decision of these remaining people who attended. Notwithstanding that Papa was the most senior. Okay. Are you getting it? Uh-huh. 
uh, but the decision was not his because was he not presided. His. He so presided. other members took that decision that was binding. Okay, now so, so in 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 very uh, so in, quick, in sixty seconds yes. now, what really this? I want to know the sequence of events that happened in Edo State. Now, you see, that's the point I was trying to go because okay. the reason I try to build this argument, I can talk about a do state. If mm -hmm. I don't talk about what I'm talking about, now talking about a do state, okay, will not make sense very well because people need to know why was I in a do state. Mm. Now, I am the subsisting and only national youth leader of Labour Party in Nigeria, okay, from 10th June 2019 till the next national convention of the party, maybe 2024, okay. anytime or 2025. Like I said, Kennedy Anotu was elected as Deputy National Secretary. He cannot become National Youth Leader. Okay. And Abure does not have any powers under the Constitution to appoint anybody into anybody's office. Okay. That said, so I've just established that Alaji Una have been restated, agreed. Alaji Apapa now the substantive acting National Chairman of Labour Party. Abure being restrained by the FCT High Court and that matter was pending. Mm. And INEC have rolled out a schedule of activities in Edo State. And mind you, on 3rd of May 2023, in Bauchi NEC meeting, Abure now has now been officially suspended by the Labour Party National Executive Council and other 35 state executive council, council. that followed Abure to the 18th April NEC illegal NEC meeting Abure conducted in Asaba, Delta State. Okay. So Abure was now under so many restrictions. So, Abure had no business in Edo State, as at the time I was in Edo State, to okay. go and conduct party's activity, okay. to prepare Labour Party for the rerun or by election, okay. and to prepare the, the, the delegate election, this okay. grant that will culminate into the election of gubernatorial candidate by the primaries in February. Hmm. So, because they knew I was coming, because my from it was public. I went on official assignment to Edo State to conduct party's activities for Labour Party. So they mm. knew I was coming. So it was on so that information. Good, that it was on the fact that they knew I was coming. As mm. the youth leader, I was the head of the team for Edo State. Okay. A five-man delegation under Papa was sent to Edo State. Okay. Because I, I am the most senior Edo person in Labour Party. Mm. So And I led the delegation of five other NWC members to Edo State. Mm. Because that is my constituency. Yes. And as the national youth leader. So I led others. Of course, they were aware I was coming. I mm. even made my, my journey a public information. A public information. Because what was the issue to get there? We have to have a meeting with stakeholders. All the aspirants, stakeholders, the party. Because it's one party. Mm. So I came in through the airport, arrived. Let's leave the story. I got to my hotel room all through. In the morning, I was to go to Procha Hotel for the stakeholders meeting. Okay. So they came and besieged the hotel where I was. Mm. I came out to enter the vehicle to go to Procha Hotel. That was that event. Mm. In that event of Baloy, the state, all the state escort with Abure are there. They were mm. all there. Mm. So, Ab so yes, Abure was at the scene of that very... I just told that the chairman, the state escort, all of them from Abure, they had Abure's instruction. Mm. On Baloy, the factional chairman of Abura will be suspended and his escort. They are there. Hmm. Like I see, they have been arrested. Statements are written, prosecutors are ongoing. This matter is already the the matter is already ongoing. The, uh, it's a national security, yes. Okay. So I am not I'm telling the world that Abure masterminded my assassination using Abaloy and members of the state executive of Labour Party. Hmm. So right. I was not attacked. By who blames? Hmm. I was attacked by a do state faction of Labour Party under Obaloy, sent by Abure to kill me in right. my state. All right, all right, now quite, this a, what I've said. All right, now quite a lot uh, has been said, and uh, our time is uh, very much uh, uh, exhausted, but we still have um, 60 seconds in yes. our hands. Uh, there's a statement of a mediation settlement between the NLC and the Labour Party. Uh, if you can, in 90 seconds, yes. I want you to quickly react to that very uh, statement uh, in 90 seconds. Uh, thank you, Phil. Briefly, mm. first and foremost, there is a consent judgment by Justice Gabriel Kolawole. Mm. Uh, that's in 2018, March 20th, if I'm right now, by the date. Now, the terms of that consent judgment was that the NLC registered the Labour Party. Of course, that's the true mm. position. That's one. Now, arising from that consent judgment, now, there was a mediation that was midwife by the Independent National Electoral Commission, mm. INEC, sometimes in 2022.
22 april okay. yeah, april 20 april 24th or there about mm. 2022 INEC midwife because there were a lot of crisis the mediation now what was the outcome of the mediation culminated in terms of settlement mm -hmm. and this are the terms of settlement that uh, one the the statutory members of the labor party of nlc in the labor party be enshrined mm. Ladi Elia was nominated by NLC as their deputy national chairman NLC. Okay. Uh, Oloru Femi Doctor was nominated by the TUC as their statutory member. That's two. Then um, Alaji Umar uh, Maru Mohammed as the statutory rep for NLC Northwest National Vice Chairman. However, we have had a national convention in Akwanga 2019, 2019. with recourse to that. So all these provisions were made to fill the vacancies. Okay. That is one. Two, that four members of the bot from nlc mm. be incorporated into the bot structure uh, soz the jofo to become the who was former chairman of the party upon registration to become the, the mm. political commission to become 30 the, seconds yeah, ago. chairman of the bot and mm. four others mm. now two three that the proper processes for the party be organized what congresses local government congresses state congresses the national convention okay that the party put in place structure to mobilize 10 million Nigerians into the party food, which was what I began to do with my national mobilization right, structure uh, for the 2020 Anselm, election. Uh, Cam Cam so Cam Anselm, uh, before uh, the uh, national, uh, so all of this have been breached by Bruce. So this is the crisis. Hmm. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you so much for your time and your uh, very much insightful analysis. Our uh, time played a very fast one on us, but I hope to still have you on the program again some other time so we can uh, go more deeper into the uh, matters that are arising. Thank you so much for your time thank you again, once again. And this is where we draw the curtain on today's episode of the program. Do want to join us again, same time, same station tomorrow. My name is Francis Adeni. Have a good day. <laughs>